Prosecuted with the Espionage Act. We're in front of the United Kingdom, UK Consul this morning. This Hello. afternoon, to demand the freedom of Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning. They have been in prison uh, for exposing war crimes, for being whistleblowers about the role of the United States and the U.S. military. And what we are saying is that they need to be defended, they need to be released. The real war criminals uh, have to be uh, prosecuted and jailed. The people that have killed millions of people in Iraq and around the world, the people that have bombed people in Libya, the people that are committing war crimes every day without tax dollars. These are the people that have to be prosecuted. These are the people that have to be in prison. Exposing war crimes is not a crime. 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 So we have a small group of people here. We're here protesting in support of Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning, both whistleblowers uh, involved with WikiLeaks. Uh, we feel, uh, we feel the United States government is going after Julian Assange for really no good reason other than the fact um, that he's made enemies. Uh, and the United States government is complete bullshit. Uh, we say we're asking that the uh, that the Britain uh, drops all the charges against against him because they're bogus. Um, and the, the Swedish already have. If you know the story about. Uh, what they've been trying to do to prosecute you. The reason so, the U.S. government and the British government I don't want to try and chat over the speaker. They're in jail is because they've exposed the real crimes of the United States in Britain. Stephen Moser, by the way. The illegal activity of the United States in Britain. Hey, a government to repress people around the world. For what? Are for you oil, a, is that your real name? For corporations, for the billionaires. That's what these crimes are around. And we're here today to demand the freedom of Julian Assange. We're demanding he be immediately released from the prison. He needs to be free and allowed to go back to Australia or wherever else he wants to go. And the uh, International Federation of Journalists have called for his freedom as well. And the uh, National Union of Journalists, also the Journalist Union in Australia, have called for his freedom. If, if Julian Assange can be jailed, any publisher can be jailed, any journalist. And they've been raised in Australia by the Australian government, uh, of the Australian broadcasting system, of whistleblowers. Um, so the government is not uh, defending uh, democratic rights. The government does not want to get out what is really happening. They're actually putting people in prison and pounding journalists and publishers who are telling the truth. So this issue of Julian Assange is not just about Julian Assange. It's not just about Chelsea Manning. It's about the freedom of people around the world to get the truth about what's going on. And that is why, even in San Francisco, Brian Carmo, who was a reporter who uh, released some information about the death of uh, Jeff Adachi, his, uh there's a field law in California which checks journalists uh, who release information. And despite that, the uh, London Green and the police department raided his office, uh, raided his home, and uh, basically took his equipment illegally. And what has happened about Brian Carmody's case? You know, you have the police commission investigating the criminal action in the police department. Now, what kind of justice is he going to get with the Kuwait police commission investigating themselves? And this, again, is another cover-up right here in San Francisco about Trump journalists who have been violated. Their rights have been violated. And the uh, state attorney general of California, Xavier Bissell, is he investigating? for a violation, a flagrant violation of the law of California to protect journalists, no investigation. So the real the real criminals are in the police department here in San Francisco. And yet there's no investigation about the clear violation of the field law. It's a law in California that you cannot arrest journalists to release information. But apparently they pick and choose what laws they want to enforce. <laughs> what kind of what kind of country is it? When the government officials and the politicians only uh, only follow the laws that they want, they pick and choose, and that's why we're saying here today we're fighting for the freedom of all journalists, all whistleblowers, and we're saying free Julian Assange, free Chelsea Manning.
Free Julian Assange. Free Chelsea Manning. Free Julian Assange. Free Chelsea Manning. Free Julian Assange. Free Chelsea Manning. So. Anyway, we're here at One Sense in San Francisco at the uh, United Kingdom Consulate or British Consulate here. Although it did look like it was open for business when I went around the side. Well, I mean, billions have been spent for security, security services, keeping information secret, and it is true that Trump tried to hide discussions with Putin and, and with the Prime Minister of Zelensky, the Prime Minister of Ukraine. But the fact of the matter is, people have a right to know when crimes are being committed. Uh, they are now prosecuting, they want to go after uh, Trump for committing crimes. What about the crimes that uh, Julian Assange has committed? Shouldn't they be prosecuted? And not one politician has called for the prosecution of the, of the people who killed journalists in Iraq that were exposed by uh, Chelsea Manning. Uh, why is that? Why aren't they prosecuting these people who committed war crimes in Iraq? I guess there, there's crimes in the news crime. If there's crimes in the service of U.S. military and the U.S. multinationals, they don't get prosecuted. So it's really a double standard uh, of prosecution, and that's what we think of hypocrisy a duplicity, uh, a prosecution, and the people who stand up for the people, the truth seekers, the journalists, uh, the whistleblowers, they are the ones that get punished. If you tell the truth and expose crimes, you are the target. Unless there's a political axe to grind, which we have now in the United States. You know, they, they all the publicity about whistleblowers that's going on now with uh, the CIA whistleblower. The fact of the matter is, there are hundreds and thousands of whistleblowers in the federal government uh, who, have, who have exposed corruption in the U.S. government, who have exposed uh, fi financial corruption. And the fact that agencies like the FAA, like OSHA, have been taken over and captured by the corporations and supposed to make it from Boeing, and how Boeing covered up uh, the problems in that plane. And the whistleblowers who expose that, the whistleblowers who expose FedEx, what, what happens to them? They get targeted. And the federal OSHA officials who try to defend them, they get targeted as well and fired. We're talking before. Uh, Gail Whitman is a uh, federal lawyer and investigator in OSHA in San Francisco. And he exposed corruption by FedEx, he exposed corruption by J.P. Morgan, uh, another bank that was illegally uh, coercing its agents to sell bad, long, bad investments to seniors. Uh, well, this guy, Johnny Burris, exposed that. What happened to uh, 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 Johnny Burris? He was retired, he was retaliated against, and also uh, he's still fighting for justice. So, what kind of justice is it when the banks, the largest banks in the world, violate the law, it's exposed by whistleblowers, and then the whistleblowers are punished and attacked? Uh, we're saying that this case of Julian Assange is about all the whistleblowers, not just Julian Assange. Free Julian Assange! Free Julian Assange! Free Justin Free Chelsea Free Chelsea Free 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 Chelsea Manning. Free Julian Assange. Free Chelsea Manning. It's funny how fast people run when you go to hand them a pamphlet. You're like, it's like it's got got some kind of poison on it. In American society, people just run. I don't want to get politically involved. Uh, it might cost money. Or some bullshit excuse. That's what I hate about Americans. Right? They run away from politics. That's partially the reason why this country is so fucked up. It's because people don't know their politics. So I guess we're going to move down the street here. And we're going on a little march. Uh, I wish Stephen would have let me know that he was organizing this. Didn't even make an effort to. 
contact Daniel Ellsberg, I don't think. But it's okay. I love Steven. But this protest is a hot mess, folks. Well, you know, I know you can't write, you can't get off the line here because I have to stick with my live stream. But I do know that you can write uh, Chelsea Manning, despite the fact that she's incarcerated with a, uh, she's being held. Uh, without a warrant, but she's by grand jury uh, until she speaks. But you can write her in jail. Um, you have to go to her website uh, to find out the address. But she always appreciates mail. And we'd love to hear from you. And she'd also like to hear that people around the country haven't forgotten about her and that we're out here protesting, you know, as much as humanly possible. And so, uh, you know, let her know that. And you can write her and send a, a written letter to her in jail. And uh, that would really mean a lot. And uh, if, you, if you'd like more information, uh, you can go to chelseamanning.org, I believe, and that'll give you all the, the, uh, the details and the facts that go along with the case. So. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get over here so I can hear what this lady said. This is a real time to celebrate whistleblowers. And even though we have a very small group here today and a lot of the people passing by are not listening, I would like to read a quote from the obituary of Joseph Wilson that's published today in the Times. Now he's the one who exposed the fake information that Bush gave in the State of the Union about the yellow cake from Niger as a, as a uh, justification for uh, the attack on Iraq, that they were building weapons of mass destruction, that they were building nuclear weapons. And uh, that was completely fake. And um, he, from, he had been working for the government, for the CIA. He had been an ambassador under Republican administrations in Africa, several African countries. His wife was on the CIA. And that was the punishment that uh, Cheney gave, you know, outing her because she was undercover. Um, but this is what he said, and I think it really is of interest to us. It's quoted in his obituary today. In his memoir, he said, I come away from the fight I've had with my government full of hope for the future. It takes time for Americans to fully understand when they have been duped by a government they instinctively want to trust. And I think that's true now. But it is axiomatic that you cannot fool all the people all the time and our citizens inevitably react to the deceit. I think that's true, and I think we should count on it, and we should celebrate all the whistleblowers who expose whatever level of lies and deceit of the government. Certainly Julian Assange, Chelsea Manning, and Snowden. Let's not forget Snowden. These are all whistleblowers who have exposed important truths about the American government 
and they should be celebrated and defended. Thank you. Thank you, Cal. So uh, we're here today again to demand the release of whistleblowers uh, Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning. And we're saying that they're truth tellers. They put their lives at risk by telling the truth about uh, the war crimes in the United States and Britain and other countries and other corporations, multinationals who benefit off of war. War is a business and it's a very profitable business. The United States is spending $770 billion this year on the war machine. Who is that benefiting? When we have homeless people in San Francisco, when we have people dying in the streets, we don't have enough money for health care, when students are going to debt, they're going to debt to go to college, and yet we have $770 billion for the war machine. This is what Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning were exposing. Chelsea Manning was a soldier who was reading this information, seeing that this information was actually a show of illegal activity by the United States government. That's why he spoke out. He put his life in jeopardy. And if it was up to some politicians in the United States, they would kill both of them. And Julian Assange is also being under severe threat in prison in Britain. He's, he's uh, isolated. Uh, he may be have to be given drugs. And he's in very bad shape. We're saying that his life is in danger. He should be immediately free. He shouldn't be in prison. The war criminals should be in prison. The wrong people are in prison, in our view. The people who are, are, who are trying to tell the truth, the people that are actually trying to defend the people of the world, these are the people that get jailed. And we're here today to demand the freedom of Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning. So maybe we'll have a song now? We'll just... Okay. Does anyone else want to speak? Open mic? Some of you may have read a, a journalist who was nearly killed by a drone, five different by a U.S. drone, five separate times, and he went to court to find out if he was on the U.S. Kill list. The journalist name, he's a U.S. born journalist. His name is Bilal Abdul Karim. Five times he followed He asked, he went to court to find out whether his name was on the kill list. And the court, the government said, we are not telling U.S. citizens if they are on our court, uh, on our kill list or not. It's in the news this week. So if you want to look up his name, his name is Bilal Abdul Kareem. And that, Repeat that means one more time. That any of us standing here or hearing this or anyone we know who's very who's an activist or whatever saxophones. that we don't know who is on the US government kill list and we're not allowed to find out. Thank you. So maybe we'll uh, continue this because we have a musician who would like to say by going to the another another yeah, side, so we have another corner. rock. Because this idiot with the saxophone, he's not giving us a break. Oh, we're to the other corner over there. Your and hair is gorgeous. Little, oh, I'll lose oh, 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 a sign with us over there. Right. So he can't even hear the shit that he's doing. Please, 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 I learned how to play, dude. Fucking saxophone sucks. I hate saxophones. Anyway, we're going to move over to this other side. I guess I'm going to have to start bringing a big speaker with me, too. Get enough people, folks. 
You, know, you should really come down here, folks. We're we're here right off of uh, Market and Sansom. Beautiful day. Anyway, that guy just gets louder. So this is time to move. So we have a uh, musician who is uh, going to sing about this struggle. So welcome. This is the, I ain't going to let him piss me off. That's um, very net to what Julian Assange went to Chelsea Manning and covered. <laughs> Rulers of the nation, as you fuss and fight over who owns this and that, and who has the right to design, build, store, sell, and fire. All the bombs and guns to defend your holy empire. There are children hungry, children sick and dying. There are mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers crying. There are only pawns in your gate of power and corruption. Slowly starve them with your weapons of mass destruction. And prove to me, America, that you care. Prove to me, America, you're aware. Who's dying for your comfort in this land? Who pays the cost for the liberty you demand? Is it for freedom? For a comfort and convenience? Is it a profit for big business we pledge our allegiance? Are we prisoners in the land of the brave and bold? No, by indifference. And hearts grown hard and cold. And prove to me, America, that you care. Prove to me, America, your way. Who's dying for your comfort? In this land, who pays the cost for the liberties you demand? Children of the world, you have the right to sing and dance, run and play, let your dreams take. Fly. As the innocent die, you rulers carry the shame. And if we sit idly by, we share in the blame. And oh, America, do we care? Oh, America, are we away? Who's dying for your comfort in this land? Who pays the cost for the liberty you demand? 
children of the world, you have the right to sing and dance, run and play, let your dreams taste Thank you. All right. Yeah. So All right, Francis. Francis comes to a lot of these. So we're here on Assange September the 28th to uh, uh, defend Julian Assange, Chelsea Mann, and all the supporters. We're demanding that they be released from prison, from jail, and that the real criminals go on trial. They're really yeah, in prison because trial. they're telling the truth about U.S. imperialism. They're telling the truth about the crimes of the Democratic and Republican politicians who've engaged in illegal wars, who've engaged in assassinations, who've engaged in mass murder. You talk about mass migration, the destruction, the destruction of Iraq, the destruction of Libya, uh, Libya are a result of U.S. war crimes, are a result of these multinationals. Cheney and company wanting to steal oil wells in Iraq. His view was that the oil is in another country that belongs to the United States, it belongs to his companies. That's who these people are. They're war criminals, and yet they want to put the real whistleblowers, the real truth seekers, Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning, in prison. And we're saying enough is enough. Free these, uh, Julian, these whistleblowers. Free these publishers. Free these people who put their lives on the line to tell the truth to the American people and the British people about, about the real criminals. Uh, the U.S. war criminals who run the government, who run the British government. They spent billions of dollars, trillions of dollars on wars, illegal wars, fabricated wars. And that is what Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning were exposing. That's why they're in prison. We need to build a movement in this country to demand that they be free and the real criminals be prosecuted. So well, that's why we're saying free Julian Assange, free Chelsea Manning. Free Julian Assange, free Chelsea Manning, free Julian Assange, free Chelsea Manning, free Julian Assange, free Chelsea Manning, free Julian Assange, free Chelsea Manning. All right, there you have it, folks. Live stream. I'm getting ready to. We gotta head on out here in just a couple of minutes. But do remember that you're watching. Uh, that uh, Chelsea Manning is still in custody, as well as Julian Assange. Uh, check out the website. I think WikiLeaks is still up. But uh, what they would really appreciate. I don't have the address. I should have thought about that. But uh, I don't have the addresses. But if you could drop them the line in the mail they both receive mail i know for a fact that chelsea manning actually answers her mail so send her a call uh, send her a card and uh or a letter and she would that'd be the thing that she would most appreciate um, i'm not real sure if they have commissary but i know i'm sure that you could put money on the federal commissary for her as well uh julian assange he's in english custody i'm not real sure how that works but he can receive cards and letters. Again, this is Clark uh, Freeman Sullivan, uh, live streaming. Uh, I'm gonna over now. Have a great day, everybody. Much love and much peace.